Okay. So I'm never going to forgive the motherfucker that totally took something I had posted in my stories out of context when I said that I actually enjoy role playing and I thought that people knew what what role playing is in gaming or <laughs> like I, I'm convinced that a lot of you your minds are way past the gutter. It was actually formulated there, formulated there in the deepest trenches of the garbage juice that is of a trash can. So again, you guys see that I like to play with these bots and things like that. But one of the things that I discussed on TikTok in my friends only was the fact that people were building different artificial artificial intelligent uh, uh, characters to invite them into their storylines of role playing. So when you're doing a role play, you are actually typing or writing your responses. It's not any different from playing Grand Theft Auto uh, online with the people that role play uh, fantasy storylines and things like that. This is just all words. Right. And sometimes it's other people like you play with other people. Pause. Um, Bruh. <laughs> but you can also deploy bots in order to be of assistance of a story. So this particular time, I'm actually excited uh, to try this one out. Um, this is called the uh, Superhero Adventure. As you see on the chat itself, there is no conversation started and you can actually speak your replies as long as you are very clear and you don't cut off the AI when they're speaking, it, you'll, you'll probably get through it. So let's talk about my plan here. So Superhero Adventure says, can you defeat the supervillains of this metropolis? So I think where we want to go from here is encounter the vil like let's encounter some people on this metropolis. So let's let's have a look. Um and again when you do stuff like this, make sure that your browser settings for your microphone is actually switched on because automatically they turn off the microphone and you have to enable access to that. And that's if you're using the Microsoft uh, bullshit browser. Um, I've, you know, had this issue before, whatever. So here we go. I'm going to unmute the AI and we're going to go right into it. Um, how would you start a superhero adventure? Um, Oh, okay. I know how I would start. Okay. So if I am a super, if I, I would be like a superhero, but in a villainous way, because I'm good, but I'm also bad when I defeat you. So it's like, I don't, I'm good to the right people, but to the wrong people or people that are trying to wrong me, you will think that I was the spawn of fucking Satan. Bruh. I'm just keeping it real so this is how we'll start it okay here we go um files nails in the clock tower as she overlooks the city ah oh, i just love it up here you have reached the clock tower the view is spectacular but you sense danger lurking in the shadows suddenly you hear a noise coming from above what do you do? Um, first of all, we, we, we get rid of this voice because what in the fuck was that? <laughs> Homie, your voice is very master shredder like you know like what the fuck okay i'll try to overcome it because obviously we don't expect our villains to have really soft voices so as you've reached the clock tower the view is spectacular but you sent da you sense danger lurking in the shadows suddenly you hear a noise coming from above what do you do
I slowly put away my nail file as I climbed down from the clock tower. As you look up, a figure drops down from the clock face and lands gracefully on the ground. It's your arch nemesis, the villainous timekeeper. Timekeeper sneers at you, taunting, you'll never catch me, Minx. I've rigged the entire city with temporal bombs. They'll detonate in an hour, sending everyone and everything back in time a full day. Oh, that's clever, yet boring. A menu appears before you. Looks at menu. What do you do? The menu displays two options. One, disable the temporal bombs. Two, steal the blueprints from Timekeeper's hideout. Which do you choose? Okay, let's just keep it a buck. All right, let, let's just keep it a buck. Being set back a day is not too bad. It's only a day. Like It's not like they never fucked with our time before. That's why I'm kind of confused because I'm like, okay, we if we steal the blueprints, right? If we take the blueprints from the timekeeper's hideout, that would probably allow us some time to uh, kind of step on his future plans. I mean, I would think that would make sense. But, but my question is, why did the menu appear before me? What is this, a fucking Apple product? I mean, well, I... I, I <sighs> Hmm. I, if we disabled the bombs, I mean, I'm just keeping it a buck. Let's look at the options here. Hold on. Okay, so you'll never catch me, Meeks. I rigged the entire city with temporal bombs. They'll detonate in an hour, sending everyone and everything back in time a full day. That's just one day. That is just one day. We we could do a day. Y'all could take a day. I'm still in the blueprints. I don't care if y'all think that's the right answer. <laughs> I think that's what we're going to do here. We are going to steal the blueprints. That's that's what we're going to do. I'm stealing the blueprints. Great choice. Oh, it's a great choice on top of that. It's a great choice on top of that. So what now? Now that you've chosen to steal the blueprints, you'll need to get to Timekeeper's hideout. I think my trusty white horse can do that. Of course your trusty white horse can do that. Whistles and white horse comes galloping with fire wings. Minx, your white horse charges into battle, its fiery wings blazing. Indeed. With your white horse by your side, you'll need to fight your way through layers of henchmen to reach Timekeeper's lair. Henchmen? They are no match to me. You're right. <laughs> of course I'm right. Like, what the... <laughs> So which way to the Timekeeper's Lair? The path to Timekeeper's Lair is guarded by his most trusted and deadliest henchmen. Do you think I will need assistance? That's up to you. Damn! Yeah. Like, of course, okay, motherfucker. Hold on, let's establish who the fuck this is in the first place. Hold on, hold on. Before we begin in any type of combat, who are you? 
I am your friendly neighborhood superhero. Okay, so why am I doing this myself? Because as a superhero, it's your duty to protect this city from evil. And what is your duty? My duty is to assist you in any way possible to defeat Timekeeper. Okay, so you're like my henchman. In a way, yes. Okay, so let's first map out what, what, what are we working with when it comes to weapons, utility, what do you have? Well, let's see. I have a utility belt equipped with various tools and weapons. And they are? Grappling hook, a tracking device, a flashlight, and an assortment of gadgets. Nice, nice. I also have a shield made of vibranium. Motherfucker, that should have been the should have been the first thing you said to impress me. Now you have a shield made of vibranium. <laughs> okay. Uh I wish I knew what was stronger than vibranium. Should I ask another body? <laughs> You know I'm asking another bot. I'm asking another bot. I'm going to chat GPT. Hold on. I'm cheating. You had to come out talking about your shield is made of vibranium. What is stronger than a vibranium? <laughs> PR. PR. A-N-I-U-M. If that's even real, let's see. What is stronger than vibranium? Okay, so in the Marvel Universe, a dad a what? <laughs> Look up. Look it up. A dad -nanium. So in the Marvel Universe, Adan... Adamanium is considered stronger than vibranium in terms of sheer durability. It's famously known for being the material that coats wolverine skeletons and claws, while vibranium absorbs vibrations and kinetic energy, making it nearly indestructible. Adamanium is virtually indestructible in its solid form, resisting all forms of damage. So, however, there are variations of vibra vibranium and adamanium like <laughs> proto adamantium <laughs> which is the alloy that makes up captain america's shield okay and uru is the metal that is to forge thor's hammer so within the marvel universe adamantium and vibranium are among the strongest known substances maybe i shouldn't be researching on how i could be stronger than my so-called trusty henchman psychic maybe i should just let him be strong on his own maybe i should just do that maybe i shouldn't be a hater as a superhero already maybe maybe i i i should just let him have it okay you motherfucker with your vibranium good for you let's continue A shield made of vibranium? That's very, very special. Yes, it's indestructible and can deflect almost any attack. And of course, I have my superpowers. So that means that if we get into a tough stretch, I know that you will be front and center. Exactly. Okay, he said it. He... <laughs> and what is your name? We should know it's his a name. Secret. It's a secret. Well, how come I can't know your name? That's also a secret. So your name is secret. Got it. Yes, it is. Okay, secret. Um, what is my name? Your name is Minx. 
I am Minx, the Phantom Prowess. Yes, that's correct. May I tell you what my special powers are? Of course, please do. I am able to do decodes of situations and see the future based on what I've decoded in my dreams, so which means I'm connected to the astrals. Interesting. What was interesting about it? The fact that I'm connected to the astral? I totally ruined your brain with that one, didn't I? Not at all. So now that you understand what my special powers are, may I show you what's in my utility belt? I'm not sure how to answer your question. Okay, so my weapons. Sure, what are they? Okay, so I have this rope, okay, and this is a retractable rope. Very useful. Yes, yeah, so once you whip the rope and it whips around the person, it has like poison at the tips. Impressive. So when they drop and they are like unconscious, the rope retracts back and it gets poisoned again. Clever. I also have knives on the side of myself. Great. These knives are so sharp that it can cut a razor blade. That's quite sharp. So now that you know what I have, what's the next step? All right, let's see what you've got. Let's get to the place that we were talking about. Lead the way. Well, I don't know where I'm going. That's why I asked if you were leading. Minx, calm down. Let's go. We'll get there when we get there. And how are we getting there? On foot. You can go on foot. I got my fiery horse right here. Sorry to hear that, but I'm not going to take advantage of your offer. You're not getting on my horse. I'm not interested in getting into your personal space, so let's just walk. Climbs up on the horse and gallops away, watching you get smaller in the distance. Nice try, but I'm not falling for it. <laughs> Let's keep moving. We get to a gate. What's the combination? The combination is you got to climb over and open it from the other side. Got it. <laughs> Opens gate. Well done. Here's in the distance. Hey, who's that over there? That's the back cave. It can't be the back cave if we are at our adversary's house. 
You are not invited to the back cave. <laughs> I can't with this one. I said, how? I, let me show you how fast I can type. How can we be at the bat cave? Oh, I didn't even turn this on. Not a good idea. The bat cave is protected by traps and guards. Okay. I thought we were at the time keeper. <laughs> we are, but this way leads to danger. Okay, okay. So let's find another way. <laughs> so let's find another way, bro. Agreed. You have to look on the left side and I will look at the right. All right. All right, better take your ass and do it. Um, here's foot steps. Get down. Get down. <laughs> We're like, no, I'm tired of hiding. I think we should just attack them. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable talking about this. Bruh. I'm tired of hiding. We should just attack them. On oh, my cue. <laughs> On my cue, we jump out and attack them. Absolutely not. Yes, you <laughs> Five. Hide and wait. Four. Stay quiet. Three. They are closing in. That was like jumps from bushes. Screaming erratically. You're under arrest. You've caused a scene. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mix starts to fight all, all the, <laughs> Mix starts to fight all the goons. <laughs> Nothing. He, he's left the chat. He don't want to play anymore. Help. He, <laughs> he's like, you went in too hot. I'm helping you now. <laughs> Yo, this, he left the chat. He's like, I'm good. You didn't want to listen to nothing I had to say. That's what he's... 